In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create 12 months company timeline slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the first thing, the 12 months company timelines and when I click, it will show me the first one which is Jan and then you can add the, the detailed text along with the icon and when I click, it will show me the next one which is Feb, then March, April, May, till you can see here till December then I have used a different color schemes you can see here something like this so depending on your requirement you can change the color as per your uh, need and if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University please subscribe it and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link I have used office 2019 version to do this if you are using some older version of PowerPoint then it may not be possible for you to do this slide I have used some complicated design ideas maybe you can recommend some nice uh, uh, easy way of doing that one uh, through the comment sections so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes from the basic shapes I'm going to choose the circle hollow draw the circle hollow all right and then shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can just change the color depending on your choice and then the height and the width i'm going to make it as six you can see here and then i'm going to reduce the width by dragging this small orange point outside so i would like to keep my uh, the width of the circle maybe this much and then align center align middle then I'm going to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle covering like 70% of the circle and the remaining 30 or 35% I'm keeping it open. So maybe I'll just move it something like this. All right. Now I'm going to select this and this merge shape I'm going to subtract so it end up getting a shape something like this. Now I'm going to increase the width to say 10 or 12 depending on the requirement and I can just increase the height as well. Now what I'm going to do next is to cut this into 12 equal parts. All right. So for that to cut this into 12 equal parts, I need to have 12 rectangles of equal size. All right. So I have to take uh, 0.83 width uh, to cover this uh, the 10 inches. So for that go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle from this corner and increase the height a little bit shape outline no outline shape fill you can give any color of your choice and right mouse click go to format shape increase the transparency so that we know exactly what we are trying to do and then i'm going to uh, you can see the width i'm going to make it as a 0 0.83 all right then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and bring it next to this one so I have created two. Now I'm going to select both the circles by holding the shift key and then hold the control shift key again, add another two here. So it becomes four. So I'm going to select all four and then drag it by holding the control shift key and make sure that there should not be any gap. And then the remaining four, you can see here exactly it has come. Maybe we need to just adjust a little bit. All right all right so you can see here i have added uh, 12 rectangles all right if you want you can just change the color to make sure that is 12 and then i'm going to select and send this to back now this one i'm going to make it 12 also press ctrl d to duplicate you can see here i can give some any other color ctrl d some different color just for the purpose otherwise it's not required to change the colors all right so you can see here one two three four i have created already four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so twelve i have created now i'm going to select all this only this oval shapes align center align middle so you can see here all 12 has been created and i'm going to keep it exactly here like this okay and you can see here let me just change the color of this 
maybe some other color I'm going to give to get the idea exactly what I'm doing. Intersect it. So I got a shape something like this. Now I'm going to select this one and this one merge shape and I'm going to make it subtract. So I should not say subtract. I should say intersect. All right. Now I'm going to select this one and this one merge shape intersect this and this again intersect. So one by one you need to keep on doing that one. You can see here. Just intersect this one by one. So you can see here I have created uh, six different shapes. So now I can just give any color of my choice. All right. So you can see here different different colors I have created here. And later on we can give uh, the color of our choice. So once this is done, I'm going to select all those things. Press Ctrl G to group it. Hold the Shift key and increase the size and you can just keep it at the bottom and then right mouse click group ungroup it so first of all i'm going to select this one and i'm going to give a gradient fill now gradient fill i'm going to use only two stops so two stops i'm deleting this one and the direction i'm going to choose which is from the linear right and here i can just choose any color maybe a dark color this side and the other side i'm going to choose a light color now I'm going to second one again gradient fill now this time I can choose maybe a olive green with some light green color you can see here you can make one darker and one lighter and then again select this gradient fill so depending on your requirement you can choose any color of your choice you can see here a pink a dark pink and I'm going to choose some light pink here all right so just change the color according to the requirement so you can see here i have just changed the color of uh, the each shape with my own color schemes so you can just apply your own color scheme and then press ctrl g to group it and depending on your requirement where you want to place exactly you can just put it here in the center then go to insert shapes if you like to add one oval shape here you can just add the oval shape you can zoom out and then try to adjust depending on the requirement you can see here make sure that it is properly aligned all right and then i'm going to insert shapes select the rectangle and i'm going to cut the remaining part so i'm going to select this and this merge shape and I'm going to make it a subtract shape outline no outline shape fill you can give any color of your choice all right and once this is done I'm going to add the months here for that go to insert text box and I'm going to type say Jan and make it a white font make it bold and you can choose any font of your choice i'm going to choose open sans and then just rotate it you can see here like this so this is jan press ctrl d to duplicate and bring it here align it properly and then this is feb ctrl d just add it like this one by one march You need to just align it properly then april likewise you need to fill the rest of the months so you can see here i've added all the months uh, starting from jan to december again if you want you can do some alignment let me just remove the guides and then go to insert shapes select the uh, this a uh, triangle and draw the triangle small triangle like this shape outline no outline shape fill 
you can give any color of your choice and again this also let me just reduce it and then just pointing like this you can see here all right and once this is done you can go to insert text box add your detail text here reduce the font size maybe to 10 and center align and this also you can rotate it you can see here something like this you can add some text or if you don't want to rotate you can just keep it straight also like this this will be much better keeping it straight all right and then you can go to insert icons you can add the icons of your choice if you are using the older version of powerpoint like 2007 or 2010 then this feature may not be available so again select this one bring it here reduce the size and i'm going to keep it here all right so now i'm going to duplicate this move this aside and again rotate it to the exact point and then press ctrl d to duplicate and then this is my second one so like this you just need to add one by one you can see here i can select both press ctrl d to duplicate and i will move it here ctrl d and later on i just need to align this arrow shape only that's it nothing else so you can just do one by one like this all right so you can see here i've added the icons now i'm just going to change the color of this one somewhat lighter and then go to insert text box you can add the business title here or business headline center align make it bold increase the size all right and then go to insert uh, shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle to cover the bottom part shape outline no outline shape fill the same color so and then you can add the year 2022 center align and then shape fill you can give any color of your choice you can see here like this and then you can increase it And if you like to do some basic animation effects, you can do that as well. 